what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of fps dropping stuttering or frame dropping issue you're currently having in detroit become human so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want you guys to know or let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am so the first step i would recommend doing for everybody is going to be to simply navigate to the very bottom of your screen where you're going to right click your taskbar and open up your task manager so once you did that i want you to navigate to the top left corner of your screen clicking onto processes and once you click processes i want you to click cpu and what i want you to do with cpu is going to be to end every single task which is currently having too much cpu or gpu usage at the moment so once you're finished with that i want you to end this task again so the task manager afterwards navigate to the bottom left corner click onto the window symbol open up your settings hit gaming so this one and i want you to stick around the xbox game bar where i obviously want you to turn this off because the xbox game bar doesn't really come with any benefit besides impacting your performance really bad so just simply turn this off afterwards hit captures uh, you're gonna stick around background recording and go to record in the background while i'm playing a game and obviously turn this off afterwards hit game mode and now i can really tell you to turn this off or on you need to check it for yourself and just simply with, stick with the setting which is working better. Go back once and hit update and security. We want you to stick around Windows Update. So download the latest version of Windows. And once you're finished with that, I want you to simply end this task. And search for your graphics card driver application on your PC or your browser. And download the latest version of your graphics card driver. Just to provide the best possible performance in general for your PC. 